Barry Qualls. I teach 19th century British fiction courses on the Bible. I've been in the English department for a long time at Rutgers. I'm doing a signature course called Once Upon a Time While We Tell Stories. I intend this course to get students and me to think more about how we read everything as a story. How we look at a building, the way we read a book as a story. What it tells us about us, our environment, our history, even our nation. I've organized it so that Once Upon a Time is always at the forefront. It begins in the beginning with Genesis, the Odyssey. It looks at uh, in, uh, history through protest novels, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and then it ends with uh, detective stories and a graphic novel, uh, and looking at the built environment to get a sense of where all these stories are coming from. One of the things I think this signature course ought to get us to think about obviously is why we tell stories. But it also ought to ask us to say, what is reading? Why do we read? Do we live because we read? Or do we read because we live? And that's a question signature courses are peculiarly prepared to ask. But reading is really at the heart of education. It connects to you with what is not yourself. It reminds you of worlds elsewhere. Uh, reading is the way that you discover not only your commonalities with other people, everybody would say that, but also what is not you and what you need to think to make you, to give you a larger world to live in. One of the things that excites me about doing this signature course, and one of the reasons I wanted to call it Once Upon a Time, is that I wanted to connect us all to stories of our youth, but also to our present. Once Upon a Time, is always about our embeddedness in history. It's always about our embeddedness in story. And that story is defining us even as we are understanding, interpreting, and articulating its meaning to us. I'm gonna give them the OED definitions, of uses of story, the uses of the term, not definitions, from 1300s on. But I'm also gonna show them a picture of the British Parliament. It is a totally medieval Gothic building built in the Industrial Revolution, built in the period where England is accumulating massive wealth and also massive poverty. Why would you choose to put a building up for the seat of government that looks so uncontemporary, so cut off from the present? Many buildings we encounter on the street, we say, wow, once upon a time they built a building like this, why? What's the difference on the Rutgers campus between the way Scott Hall is constructed and the way Murray Hall or Miller Dollar is constructed? That is to say, designed. What is the built environment? What stories are they telling us? What stories are they asking us to tell about our education? So one of the things I like most about a signature course and the opportunity to do it, it's always saying to students, this is about you thinking out loud about you thinking first, speaking ideas, articulating theories, challenging other people. You, don't, you want people to come away from reading these books, not just, oh, another book to read. What you want to do is to have people come and ask questions, think about why the story is being told, and why it is being told the way it is being told. What I want students to get from this course is a sense of the richness possible when you connect things that don't look connectable. When you think about the connection of a graphic novel to Uncle Tom's Cabin. When you think about the connection of the Odyssey to the Bible. When you think about the connection of the Bible to a monument or to the construction or to the design of a building. And I would hope five or 20 years hence that students would say, I took signature courses at Rutgers, a number of them, I hope, because they kept surprising me into new alertness about what I was thinking, about what I was looking at, about what I was reading. They provoked me to make connections. So I hope this uh, signature course, Once Upon a Time, is going to connect us uh, to large issues about storytelling, about the essential a characteristic of being human.